So originally I was going to work on a review that I've been holding off for the longest time, but today during work I came across something on TikTok that kind of interested me, so I kind of wanted to talk about this today in my video. Also I do apologize, I'm using my headset microphone instead of my usual microphone because I have to get a new one. To begin, how many people have heard of Darman? Well, Darman is this person who creates videos on YouTube, and usually these videos have like a storyline that usually teaches like a valuable life lesson and has like morals in it. Too. I actually like these Darman videos. They're really good and they're very interesting. And some of the lessons and morals that he puts out in his videos are very helpful. They give out really helpful advice. Not to mention that the actors and that they use in the stories are like phenomenal like even the kid actors they are like so talented like they're better than any like Nickelodeon or Disney Channel star that you put on nowadays all of his videos he gives it like a title with like a very unique thumbnail one like spoiled girl disobeys the law she instantly regrets it girl spreads rumors in her school what happens is shocking you know kind of like that not to mention he has his own personal studio that he uses to film all of his videos in Los Angeles and the sets look amazing very professional too like he has like many different settings like a school setting a house where they film at and just like any kind of location like he has like in a studio where they can film and I'll be honest like it seems like a fun work environment to be at like Starman and his crew get along with each other. They do like fun activities and everything like that. It seems like, you know, a perfect work environment to be at. Or so I thought. So you see, on Monday, February 6, 2023, when I was at work, I was scrolling through TikTok as usual during my lunch break, and I happened to see a live going on with one of the Darman Studios actors that I follow. I follow a few of them on TikTok, by the way. And the live was very interesting because they seemed like they were protesting outside of the studio. And I thought like, okay, maybe they're just doing it for like a video for like their the story or whatever. But apparently they were actually protesting. And I was kind of curious for you know, why were they protesting outside of Darman Studios? Like, what could be the reason? And from what one of the actors mentioned is that they were getting underpaid and everything. So I was like, that's so weird. I have the video of the live, at least like some parts of it where like they kind of like go explain into it. So I'll post that on here right now. I do apologize for the loud noises in the live because they were outside and one of the actors were blowing like whistles and protests and everything so you can somewhat kind of hear what they're saying as well as um, how this video is like uh, positioned because I, I was screen recording on my phone and I couldn't like get it to the side so I do apologize for that. Hopefully more people will join us if they can. Would Dar call the cops for this? I, I don't know. We're not doing anything wrong. Uh, we're just standing on a public sidewalk. Uh, some people are here. Some people are here in spirit. And, you know, unfortunately, we all have to have day jobs. In addition to working for a multimillionaire uh, that gets multi-millions of views across all social media pro uh, platforms, not one actor here can support themselves off of that. Uh, but again, the day that we wanted to have our meeting, Dar was skiing in Aspen, drinking champagne on the slopes. So he is doing okay. And look, we understand it's his brand, it's his channel. Um, we're not all looking to be to make the same rate that he does. Uh, we would just like to live off of the work that we do off of the work that millions of people see and enjoy, then that's really not a lot to ask. So that's why we're here hanging out today. Thank you all for being here. 300 people, that's lovely. Yeah, we're, we're not being treated very well. And really it's come to this because we asked to have a meeting with him. Specifically, we sent a letter to him, a hard copy letter. It was very well worded. Uh, we emailed him. 
and that letter was forwarded to the HR department. Uh, and no, a meeting took place where we expected Dar to be there, but Dar was not there. We do not, um, as contract employees, Dar Man signs our contracts. That's who our boss is. Well, we do not. We are not employees of Darman Studios. We are contracted players, so we really have no um, job with HR. So we didn't want to talk to HR. We want to talk to our boss, Darman. Uh, when we reiterated that several times, uh, in person and in writing, we were told a week later that no meeting would happen and all uh, complaints or problems should be sent in writing to HR. So we came here. Um, that was Saturday, we got that word. We asked to hear from them by Tuesday. That didn't happen. We did hear from from Wednesday that said we're talking internally. And then on Saturday, um, they said no meeting is going to take place. So we're here. Uh, that's pretty much what's going on. And thank you all for being here. Will we still be in videos? Look, if we can have a conversation, yeah, I would love to still make these videos. I really like coming to work here. The, the community that we've built here is really wonderful. I, I've said that before on, on lives on my channel. There are really wonderful people that work here. Um, and we want to continue working here, absolutely. The likelihood of that happening is very low. I, I'm pretty sure that anybody whose face is seen here is, is fired because that's kind of what happens on this show. A lot of people have been fired previously for speaking out and asking questions. And that's why we decided to come together as a collective um, and, and make our voices heard. But uh, that seems to have not worked, uh, but we're still here, we're talking. Um, and, you know, we're just taking it sort of moment by moment, day by day, seeing what's going to happen. Uh, so, yeah, so thank you for all the support that's happening right here, right now. And that has happened over the years because it's a really a great, it's a great job. And we are actors, and that's what we want to do. We want to act. We want to act for you. We want to entertain. We want to tell stories. We want to change lives. Um, it's just becoming really difficult to do that uh, for a lot of reasons. Um, and certainly money is part of that. As I said earlier, we have now have more people here. No actor that works at Darmian Studios, a worldwide platform that's seen by millions and millions of people uh, every day across multiple social media platforms, across multimedia platforms. No actor that works here can support themselves uh, on, the, on the salary that we receive. Uh, and so that's, why we're, that's mostly why we're here. Uh, we got uh, uh, just clear nearly 700 people here. Oh, nice! 700 people here protesting with us here at Darman Studios because they won't meet with us. Yeah, I've just been explaining that no actor that works for Darman Studios, a multi million uh, dollar platform, multi views across multi platforms, no actor that works here can support themselves. No, not. not um, at all. And that Peter. is really difficult. Uh, so that's why we're here. And we just wanted to have a conversation with somebody about that, specifically Darman, the person who countersigns our contracts uh, and is our employer of note. Uh, he has refused to meet with us, so that's why we're here today. So yeah, they're basically not getting paid enough, and even when they try to schedule a meeting to meet with Darman to you know, talk about it, like they just kept putting off the meetings, and then yet they just canceled it, so that's why they were protesting. Which, it's kind of unfair that, you know, this is happening, especially with a company like this. And it mostly sucks, too, because there are some actors who spoke out about this issue, and yet they got fired for it. Like, that's completely unfair. And it also made me question why some of his new videos, I'm not seeing like the usual regular original actors that he always uses in some of his videos. Like, I have like a few favorite actors that I always like to watch whenever they, you know, appear in a Darman video. And yet I haven't seen any of them in maybe like a good like few weeks. And you know, this situation kind of reminds me of what happened with the Fine Brothers and what happened with their channel and with their company when during in 2020 at the pandemic when one of their original reactors spoke out about you know how they weren't being treated right and how the work environment was not what it seemed to be and everything and even like other reactors posted on twitter and came out and talking about you know the work environment and just how they were being mistreated and everything and Look what happened to the Fine Brothers. They, you know, dropped down and now FBE is now called React. To me, this is just very disappointing and I'm honestly kind of mad that this is going on. 
and I feel very bad for the actors that they're going through this. I mean, the fact that, like, Dharma hasn't said anything about this, or is not, like, talking about this right now, and, like, the truth is coming out, and I mean, <laughs> you know what he always says in some of his videos. What happens in the dark always comes to light. Well, you should know that the truth always comes out in the end. And boy, it sure did. I honestly do hope, you know, Darman does sit down with his actors so they can come to a full agreement and start getting like better pay and everything. And if any of the actors post something about, you know, anything Darman related to the situation, I will maybe post it on here on YouTube with like any information that comes up. But yeah, I hope, you know, everything goes all right with the actors. I hope they can get a meeting with Darman and sit down and talk so they can, you know, discuss everything. Because I like the Darman videos and I don't want, you know, a channel to end up like what happened with the Fine Brothers at all. So hopefully everything will work out in the end. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I will see you guys later. Thank <laughs> you.